All right, guys, today I was looking at eBay once again for some more rare Spirit Halloween animatronics, and I found some, so I'm going to bring you along with me while I take a better look. Alright, so as I pull this up, the first thing that I see is called Spirit Halloween Prop Reaper of Souls. I believe I have heard about this one, but I'm not 100% positive. They have it on here for $620. We are going to go over to, once again, the Spirit Wiki page, because I absolutely love this page. It has so much stuff to do with Spirit Halloween. Anything you want to know about Spirit Halloween is basically on this website. I can't believe it. I love it. I'll put a link below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so the Reaper of Souls, it's actually called the Ripping Reaper of Souls. This guy on eBay has it listed wrong. It's called the Ripping Reaper reaper of souls and on ebay that can make a difference from people finding it or not okay so the ripping reaper of souls it was sold by spirit halloween for the 2009 halloween season it resembled a tall skeletal reaper wearing a robe when activated the reaper would move its mouth to one of three different phrases afterward it would expose its chest revealing several screaming deformed faces. That sounds totally awesome. Reminds me of Freddy Krueger. The Reaper's head and chest featured glowing eyes. Okay, so let's go on down here to where there's some pictures, and the first thing I want to look at, as always, is the box. This is an older box. It says, sound activated. Once activated, the Reaper rips open his robe to reveal the faces of the lost souls. Eyes light up, speaks three haunting phrases. I can't wait to see what these phrases are. And look at this. On the box, I noticed that it is just called the Reaper of Souls. So even though on the website here, it calls it the Ripping Reaper of Souls, on the box, it's just called the Reaper of Souls. I'm not sure what the significance with that is, but let's keep looking. Let's go to some pictures of this thing. First, we have this one here where his hands are on his robe. He's getting ready to rip it open. Then the next one is the robe ripped open. You can see the faces like trying to push out through his skin. And then down here, I also noticed here's one where you can see the eyes and all the eyes of the people busting out all lit up. Now, that's a blurry picture, unfortunately, but it gives us an idea of what it looks like. Here's another one, still kind of a blurry picture. Um, all right, let's hop out of that, and let's go on down to... Oh, here's a spirit uh, setup. Here he is in Spirit Halloween. Look at this. We even have uh, Frankenstein's monster over here. I don't know if this is Bride of Frankenstein over here, but here is the Reaper of Souls set up in a Spirit Halloween. That is pretty cool. That's what you see when you first walk in the door by that archway. Okay, I see. This is also inside a store, and it has the box of the Reaper of Souls over here. Look. Oh my gosh. I love this picture because you can see so much stuff. Cauldron something. I don't know what that is. Somebody can tell me what that is, and we'll look it up next time. Um, but back here, I also see a Swamp Zombie. Man, that is so cool. Look at this. They actually have ghouls hanging from the ceiling in this one. Anyway, let's not get off track. Let's go on down here to the video. I'm dying to see what this thing has to say and to see how it works. Here we go. Animated Ripping Reaper of Souls. Here we go. May the demons of the underworld have mercy on your soul. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. I would love to see this working in person. Foolish mortal, behold your destiny and despair. I love that. I love how the eyes flash, too. They're not just on, they flash as they if scream. You think the dead rest in peace, think again. That is awesome. I want to see that one in person. As usual, we can't understand a whole lot of what he's saying. I could probably decode it if I spend some time with it. But um, that is a pretty cool prop right there. The Reaper of Souls. And if we jump back to eBay here, yeah, the guy wants 620 bucks for it. Hmm. 
pretty cool. I don't have 620 bucks sitting around to blow, but... <laughs> All right, so let's roll on down here because I found a couple other ones. Here's one I haven't looked at yet. The Jemmy Splitting Tombstone Animatronic Skeleton. Now, this guy wants 80 bucks for this, $79.99. And it's basically a skeleton behind a headstone. It looks like his fingers are through, and then he busts open through it. So that will be pretty interesting. Let's go back over to the Spirit Fandom page, because I've already pulled that one up. I've not watched these videos yet. I wanted to do that, guys, with you. Um, so let's see. This one was up in 2005 from Spirit Halloween. Um, let's just roll down here and see some pictures. There's his face. I always love to look at their face. <laughs> and there he is busting out of the headstone. And let's see. Okay, so apparently there's... There's a smaller version and a big version. The one on eBay here looks like it's the small version. You can tell by the look of the uh, of the skeleton's face. Yeah, because look, it's a totally different skeleton. That one looks almost like a Goonies skeleton um, in the back there. So anyways, let's close out of that. Come down here. We're going to watch the video for this one too. Now, I think this video is for the bigger version, but it still gives us the same effect of what both of them do. Here we go. Yeah, pretty basic. Just splits it open and screams. I mean, that's cool. Not my favorite ever, but let's see. Let's go back to uh, eBay here and roll down because I did find a couple other ones I want to look at. And one of those is the Headbanger Zombie. For some reason, I was thinking that we looked at this already in a video. But we must not have, though. 375 bucks for this guy from 2012, apparently. And I've also pulled him up on the Spirit uh, fandom page here. Let's see. Uh, sold by Spirit Halloween in 2012 season. Resembled a bloodied zombie torso hanging from wherever you place it. When he's activated, the head rocks back and forth, and the mouth moves to grunting. So he's hanging, like, basically on a tree limb there, I guess. And he's just the torso. He has no bottom half. It's been ripped off. So <laughs> let's roll down here. Here's the box. I love looking at these boxes. Motion activated. Head swings back and forth, and mouth moves when activated. Blood-curdling audio. Eyes glow haunting white. That looks pretty awesome. And let's see, here's just a picture of him hanging from a bar. That's probably how they had him hanging up in the store. And let's go on down to uh, the video here and watch the video. Headbanging zombie, spirit Halloween. Here we go. Okay. I mean, he thrashes around a lot less than I expected. I thought he was going to be going, like, absolutely ballistic hanging up there. And, I mean, it's a cool prop, but I think he could have been shaking a little bit more. Now, again, this was back in 2012, so I don't know. If they redid this one now, I would hope that they make him shake around even more. But uh, pretty cool prop anyway. Let's go back to eBay here for a second. And there was one more I want to take a look at. Where is it? Oh, here we go. The Headless Horseman. I don't think that I knew that Spirit Halloween ever had a Headless Horseman out. But if we go back to the wiki page, there he is. Um, Headless Horseman sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2012 Halloween season. Resembled the Headless Horseman. Holding an axe in one hand and a pumpkin in the other. I absolutely love the Headless Horseman, the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Let's roll on down here. Take a look at the box. That is pretty cool. Pumpkin glows with an LED bulb. Life-size prop with amazing details. And his head is chopped off. All right, let's see. Here's a picture of him set up. That is pretty cool. I wonder how tall he is. I don't recall if it said how tall he is, but he's supposed to be life-size, so he's probably about six feet tall. And let's see. 
Headless Horseman, $149.99. That's a pretty awesome price for that guy. What is this? Here's an ad, Icons of Horror. <whistles> Look at that. I love seeing these old ads. Headless Horseman, there's a witch, there's a zombie chick. <laughs> a werewolf. What is this guy? Death Row Inmate. And then what is this? I can't read it. It's so small I can't read what that guy is, but he looks pretty cool. We're going to have to come back to that one in another video. So, all right, let's keep on moving here. Here is a video of non-illuminated Headless Horseman prop. Okay, 2012. Looks like he's set up in the store. Here we go. $149.99. Oh, come on, is he going to work? Alright, apparently he's not going to work in this video, but we get to see what he looked like set up in the store. So, we're not done yet, though. I'm just going to pause this. We're going to YouTube, baby. YouTube. Spirit Halloween Headless Horseman. Ah... Yes, there he is. <laughs> Let's do this one right here. Dark Dimensions Haunted House. He's losing his axe there, but let me zip through this for a minute because I'm going to come back and watch this whole video because I, I noticed that he has this Ichabod and Mr. Toad thing in here. Disney's Legend of Sleepy Hollow is my favorite ever. So let me zip through here. It looks like he's setting it up in the video. Um, I just want to see him in action at the end here. Here we go. Video, stay tuned for more prop repairs. I have to mute this because it's got music on it, so it could be a copyright issue. He looks pretty cool set up there. And it looks like the pumpkin is lit up. He must not do very much, though. Maybe he just simply lights up and that's all there is to it. It looks like the pumpkin might be flashing a little bit. I can't really tell. I'm going to have to do some more research on this one. But if that's all he does, honestly, that's pretty disappointing. I love the Headless Horseman. Um, but if that's all he does is stand there and look cool <laughs> with a lit up pumpkin, then that's honestly pretty dang boring um yeah it doesn't even say on the box like that he does anything except for stands there and looks like a headless horseman with a glowing pumpkin so all right that was pretty disappointing with the headless horseman i saved him for last because i thought that he would be the best and he turned out to be pretty dang lame so Anyways, guys, if there are any older animatronics that you want to see me pull up on here and check out, I would love to hear about them. I certainly do not know everything about every animatronic that was ever put out by Spirit Halloween. So if there's any you want to specifically see, let me know in the comments below, and I will do that in one of our next videos. Until then, I will see you guys later. Peace. I'm out. I told you to stay away. Oh, God. <laughs>